Welcome to the fourth Rhino Grasshopper screencast. I'm going to be finishing the uh, talk on creating uh, ribs out of a UV curves. And the file is going to be a little bit different than what was in the third video since I'm continuing on from the lecture I gave at UT. So let me just cover some specifics real quick. Here's our surface. Named it Michael Surface. Preview it. That's what it is. If I go into Rhino and do Show, that's our surface. You can still edit things in there. And all sorts of other fun stuff. those control points hide this and then you can see we have our offset as well and so that's defined by a 0.5 we've made it negative by putting in an expression right here and that that just depends on your geometry if you want to make it negative or let it be a positive um, so those are our two surfaces that will be defining the edges of our ribs and here are the tops and bottoms of each direction and then we uses, used the endpoints to basically cap them. And like you can see here, this is why I like knowing this method via the UV curve. You can get really beautiful rib geometry for specific types. You can also get really sort of maybe unruly options depending on what your geometry is. It just all depends. So. Um, Using these elements, let's go ahead and make these rib surfaces in each direction and see what we can do to then find the intersections between them to either use those intersection curves for making tabs in Rhino or further extending the definition in Grasshopper itself. So I'm going to go to the Surfaces tab under the Freeform panel and I'm going to grab the Sweep 2 and the Sweep 1 component. And I'm going to go to the Parameters tab under Special and grab the Boolean Toggle component. So I'm going to drag the, each of the top and bottom of the profile into the rails. I'm going to graph each of those. The single line is the profile, and there we go. And as you can see, like I said, you have some very unruly solutions. But that's because right here our height is set to false, uh, to, or the single height is set to false. What you can do is go ahead and toggle that to true here and drop that in there. You know, relax a lot of that geometry. So this is on the extreme end of, of what you can get from this rib solution. Then there's also the sweep one that we can use, and uh, basically just drag the bottom profile and our section curve, and there you go. You can see how much more planar so it'd probably be a lot easier to get actually uh, curves ex or uh, flattened lines extracted out of. So there's our two methods. I'm going to continue on by using the, the sweep one method. So I'm going to go ahead and come over here to the sweep two and turn preview off and actually just I'm going to go ahead and 
just so it's not being calculated. And disable it. And so for the sweep one, the copy and paste. And uh, drag the rail, the line. And there we go. And so now the next step is to turn these into some way to extract their intersection points and use that as a, a method of getting tabs. And so from here, let's go ahead. And uh, go to the parameters tab, geometry, and go to surface. Just gonna copy that real quick. Drop those in there. And then we're gonna go to our to the parameter viewer. Let's put a little parameter viewer right here. And drop those in there. We'll see the The hierarchy there we want to get that flattened so what we're going to do is right here go ahead and flatten those and now that's what we've got just this one group of just 15 curves or 15 surfaces excuse me so we flatten both of them okay. then we're going to go to the transform tab or excuse me the intersect tab the physical panel and the B-Rep, B-Rep. And we should then right click and graft. And now, since we grafted them, excuse me, we'll graft the bottom one. Just the top one we're gonna graph. There you go. And by doing that, by staggering it off of one, you've been able to see them organized in uh, groups along each rib and repeating. And that's what we wanted. So sometimes you have to test the uh, parameter tree. Um, you can see here, still one, and here's still one. When we graphed off one, the other one's flowing through this one. So it's a way to sort of make a, a loop through here. Because if we graph two, you will actually see it flattens into just one. So if you're having results that you can't explain or that are inconsistent, go ahead and take the time. Like we said uh, earlier, have a little setup of components you can reuse as utilities and actually figure out where the hierarchy is and how it's being resolved. So now our intersection is giving us all the intersections to our uh, geometry. We have sweeps in both the directions. And so that's enough to get you to the next point of flattening these out. Um, we'll go in uh, in our waffle slab exam example when we use uh, XYZ coordinates and be able to do an orient and show you how to flatten some of these out in Grasshopper and uh, get them um, flattened in Rhino as well. Uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.